The big sports thrill of the 1961 National League baseball season takes place at County Stadium in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Some 41,000 fans pack the home of the Braves to watch Warren Spahn, the greatest left-hander in National League history, pursue his 300th Major League victory. Only five modern-day pitchers have reached the 300 plateau. They include Walter Johnson, Christy Matheson, Grover Alexander, Ed Plank, and Lefty Grove. Spawny has the Chicago Cubs shut out going into the fifth inning. Jerry Kindle hits one into the hole. It's too hot to handle and goes for a scratch single. Works carefully at one back to the mound, but Spawn throws wide and late to Frank Bowling. Now the Cubs have runners at first and second. With two on and two out, Warren goes to work on Cub pitcher Jack Curtis. Spawny breaks off a curve that handcuffs Curtis, and he's out of the inning. Curtis, who was only nine years old when Spawn won his first big league game, runs into trouble when Joe Torrey's liner to left is bobbled by Billy Williams. It's a costly two-base error that gives the Braves life. Thus far, Curtis has permitted only two hits. Roy McMillan punches one past Don Zimmer, and the Braves have runners at the corners as Torrey advances to third. Huge hand goes up from the crowd as Warren Spahn strides to the plate. A genuine hitting pitcher, Warren holds the home run record for National League Moundsman. In an effort to win his own game, Spahn lifts a fly to left. It's long enough to allow Torrey to score, and after five innings of play, Spahn and the Braves lead the Cubs one to nothing. This is Spahn's 17th year in the big leagues. The 40-year-old veteran gets roughed up here by Don Zimmer, who opens the sixth with a long single to left. Warren retires the next two hitters, but Billy Williams, the National League Rookie of the Year, keeps the Cubs alive with a shot to right to put runners at first and second. Andre Rogers follows with a single to center, which sends Ron Santo racing home with a tying run. It's one all after six innings. Going into the eighth frame, Curtis has allowed only five hits. But when Gino Simoli smacks a drive to left, Milwaukee goes mad. Simoli's hit sails into the seats for a home run. And with a two-to-one lead, Warren Spahn is only three outs away from his 300th major league victory. With one down in the top of the ninth, Spawn faces Jerry Kendall, who lashes a low liner to center. Gino Simoli spears it, while a capacity crowd roars its approval. Spawny gets the sign as pinch hitter Ernie Banks digs in at the plate. Banks tops one to Eddie Matthews, but Matthews throws it away and it's still anybody's ball game. Warren really wants this win. A slow curve fools pinch hitter Jim McEnany, who flies out to Henry Aaron, and the ball game is over. Jubilation runs rampant at Milwaukee County Stadium, where baseball history is made. Warren Spahn, who won his first game at age 25, wins number 300 at age 40. For the National League's premier southpaw, this is another giant stride in his march toward baseball's Hall of Fame. Warren Spahn's classic. 300th Major League victory is the most inspiring sports thrill of 1961. <laughs>